MTV logo. They we did a couple of seasons of the show when we were we ended the second season on a, a major cliffhanger, and um, we were waiting to hear about a third season pickup. And surprisingly, they said we'd like to do a movie instead. I wasn't trying to make the movie a lot different from the TV show, though. At the end of the day, it is an extension of the series, so I wasn't. The goal wasn't to push the envelope, you know, much more. Um, it was nice to be able to, to have the freedom to use language when it felt necessary, or to have the freedom to show certain things in terms of sex and whatnot. But it really wasn't about pushing the envelope there. So I don't think it's that much racier or more R-rated than the series was at the end of the day. It's, it's, it's a pretty close match, I think. I don't know, I think we're all kind of a little more desensitized to that kind of subject matter now at this point. Because we've seen enough of it in enough places, I think, that it's not as shocking anymore. I hope so. Anyway. I don't like it when straight actors sort of get more credit for playing gay, like it's somehow it's harder for them. It's really not. I mean, at the end of the day, um, gay actors don't like doing the sort of touchy stuff as, any more than the straight actors do. It's all about play acting and doing something with someone that you're not really involved with in real life, and it's, it's uncomfortable and people are watching you. And You know, in California, we have a big proposition coming up. and. Um, so I think the film is coming at a, at a perfect time, and hopefully if there's some people who might be on the fence about that, they, they, we can sway them to the right side, the correct side. Someone was telling me who went to a screening recently, um, a Jamaican woman, that uh, she didn't know what the movie was about. She'd been invited and she went. And um, she goes to screening all the time. And she invited a friend that who she was supposed to hang out with that evening, a Jamaican gentleman. Um, neither of them knew what the movie was about. They got, they get there, and um, and this particular gentleman is apparently very homophobic, and you know, and uh, and to her, and she wondered when she saw what it was about how he was going to react. But at the end of it, he said, you know, I actually really got into it and I enjoyed it. When you know, black people were slaves, they you know they really had no rights, no legal rights. Um, marriage was certainly not a right afforded to them. Um, and so they came up with this ritual that was a, symbolized the wedding. So when uh, two, when a couple would get married, they would have a, a small private ceremony that they could, and, and the couple would, um, at the end of the ceremony, would jump, the, would jump over the room. And that signified that they were now married. Um, and it's a tradition that's kind of stayed around a lot. Most black weddings that you'll go to, a lot of them, will have a ceremonial groom at the end, and as the couple leaves the altar, they'll jump over the groom. Even if you haven't seen the series, um, we've crafted the movie in such a way that you can still get into it. And I've talked to people who haven't, who don't know the series, and who loved the movie. I think people can expect to be entertained, first and foremost. Um, I think they can expect to see a beautiful film, a film that looks good, funny characters, romance, sex appeal, uh, drama. You know, I think we kind of packed it all in. At present, there are no plans for more seasons. Um, I would imagine if the movie does well, then there's always a possibility of um, another film or maybe uh, more, more episodes of the series.